With the holiday season upon us, food banks are hoping you'll give to their annual food drives, which couldn't have come at a more urgent time. Across Canada, we see uh, 850,000 people using food banks. If we look back since 2008, since around the time of the recession, uh, that's a significant increase. Jacob McDonald is with Consolidated Credit Counseling Services of Canada. He says close to 80,000 people in Canada used a food bank for the first time this year. Simcoe Hall Settlement House Executive Director Elizabeth Fernandez says they are definitely seeing an increase in numbers at their food bank. We're noticing that the numbers have gone up. Last year we were seeing about 650 to 700 clients were coming in a month and now we're seeing about 800 to 850 clients a month coming to use the food bank. Compounding the problem, Fernandez says those who normally donate to the food bank and their holiday food and toy drive are also finding it hard to give. The food prices have gone up, so that's affecting their donations as well because they have to make sure they can feed their families first before they can donate here. So we're noticing the cutback in that area as well. For those feeling financially vulnerable, McDonald and the team at Consolidated Credit have some tips to help keep your finances in check. We know that one in, in six food bank users are employed. There's no such thing as a stereotypical food bank user. These are, you know, some of these people uh, have income coming in and they've got to be making the most of it. So what you've got to do for a bit of financial first aid is assess the situation, take a hard look at your finances, see what's coming in, see what's going out. You've got to create a budget. Uh, we know that uh, less than half of Canadians use a budget and, and these are the most simple basic tools to organize your money to maximize your dollars. Uh, you, you're going to want to prioritize needs and forget about wants until you're back on, on firm financial footing. He says income assistant tools exist for a reason and encourages people to check out provincial and municipal government offices to learn more about valuable help. Rita Nave, Studio 12 News, Oshawa.